every day, every day down south, more and more people are finding out about what's happening in the Northern Territory and what's happening to, to Aboriginal people across the country. And, you know, every, every day, as more people know, like, the movement grows stronger. <laughs> Oi, oi, oi. Testing one. by this racist government and yeah that's all I want to say. You need to actually go there to these communities and see firsthand what is truly happening to our people. Don't listen to the rhetoric and the rot that the media presents to us the applications of the intervention in reality, which I think, you know, has seen, has seen for us um, the reiteration of what we thought was happening, and that's really pushing people off their lands, you know, making hard to, to, to live, get their pensions, get food. And I think the rally in our Springs really demonstrated, you know, what we can be a part of, which is actually trying to build a movement of inner cities, and I think the strength of the, of the people who describe the community speaking out, and so consistently opposing intervention in all its forms provides us with so much information and compassion to keep on fighting in cities. And I find that incredible that no other race in this country has those sort of conditions imposed on them. I'd just like to quickly read the statement of the women's groups because I think it really encapsulates the kind of universal concerns that um, people across the territory have around um, the intervention. So, we Aboriginal women from the prescribed Enemies People's Alliance meeting um, met to talk on issues that affect us the most out of this intervention. We have made a statement. We don't want the intervention. We want to manage our communities the proper way, the way we want it. This is our community. We are the ones that live here. Listen to us and our cultural ways. Racism. The intervention law is racist and we want protection under the Racial Discrimination Act. Rights. Intervention has taken away our people's rights. Law. There is one law, and that's our law. Our laws don't change. White people are changing their law all the time. Culture. We have been practicing our culture for thousands and thousands of generations. We want to strongly maintain and practice our culture. We want to stay in our communities and pass on traditional knowledge to the future generations. Governments. Governments don't listen to us. We want another government who is good, honest and respectful with good people working for us. White men are trying to pull us back. They like to be in the front. They're always taking over. Stay with Aboriginal law. Government people bringing new ways are destroying our ways. Consultation. We want more consultation and communication. We want consultation in our languages. We want to work together. Intervention workers come in, they don't know our community and what we need, they don't work with us. Government business managers are not working properly for our community needs. 
Community management belongs to us. Governments work 9 to 5. Communities are 24 7. Police. Police can do what they like, get away with anything since the intervention started. We'd like them to ask us how we'd like to deal with community issues. We'd like to work in partnership to deal with community problems. Income management. There's no financial programs to support our people. A blanket approach to income management is the wrong way. Income management is bringing everyone into town. People don't want to have to come into town. They want to stay in their own communities. Nothing has improved. There's no new houses, schools, or anything for communities. They've only built new houses for the new intervention staff. We had programs created by the community for our community. We wanted more support for them. Community programs have been taken away. They've taken away our night patrols, community buses, and women's centres. Going backwards. For, for old people, the intervention is bringing up bad memories of the past, the old days, the ration days, the dog tag days, and the mission days. Help. We want permanent doctors and nurses in our communities that we can trust, not the fly in, fly out, one day or one week intervention doctors. Give our people the opportunity to be health workers in our communities. Education. We want um, for our young people to stay on land and learn culture. We want to see kids going to school and getting a proper education in a school that's on Aboriginal land, not to have to send them away. Elders. Our old people are our government. We listen to them. We want to employ our own people, young people, to care for families. Elders want return to country, programs and aged care facilities in their communities. We listen to our old people. Government should listen to them. So then there are three calls to action, which was, um, the first one was, um, we call on Quentin Bryce, the Governor General, to come and meet with us women. The second was, um, we call on Jenny Macklin to have um, proper consultation with us women. And the third one was stop the intervention. We want to manage our communities the proper way, the way we want it. This is our community. We are the ones that live here. Listen to us and our cultural ways. For those that don't know me, I'm Barbara Shaw and I'm from the Mount Nancy Housing Association or Tan Camp in Alice Springs now a prescribed area under the federal government. I am a descendant of the Kadij and Arundo Wapri Warramungal people in the Northern Territory. And this is my child, Danae, the youngest of two. <laughs> so I've been um, over to the United Nations speaking on behalf of the grassroots people of the Northern Territory. I also gave a statement and mentioned the intervention and how it's affecting people. I have been travelling to different numbers of cities and towns around the country and I've also started talking and travelling to communities. Before the legislation of the Northern Territory Emergency Response come out, there was a report, the Little Children and the Sacred Report, and they had 97 recommendations into saving children from child sex abuse and women from violence. When the report came out, it had nothing to do with land. And when the legislation came out, it had no mention of children or women. <laughs> Excuse me, Mon Wiseman, she's coming to you. <laughs> I'm a representative of the, uh, the South Coast. I'm a LARPA boy, don't hold that against me. But uh, the, why I'm here is that what we've had happening in uh, the state, uh, all around the country in fact, is that the government now is going to abolish the CDP program. And what the CDP has done is has lifted their self-esteem and has given them the skills and the ability to actually uh, continue their education and to enter into other jobs.